It's morning time. Cock a doodle doo. Rise and shine, or you'll miss today's tale. Last time I heard Bear tell a story, it was wonderful. It was one of those magical stories. It was a crazy story. I'm coming. Oh, 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 oh dear, we're going to be late. Yeah, this is awful. Hi, how, how, how did we get down? <laughs> Out of oh, my oh, way. Oh, oh. Uh, hey, everybody, come on. It's almost time for the story. I'm so excited for Paris. 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 Oh, oh, boy. Where is Bear? I don't see him anywhere. I'm a little late. <laughs> so, is anybody in the mood for a story? That's right. That's our right. best one. Make it a good story. Make it a good one really yeah. long, too. Oh, I see everybody's here. Well, I know you guys are waiting for a story, and I think I've got just the one. Now listen closely, and I hope you like it. Every story starts with Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time, many, many years ago, there lived a farmer named Tuck Bo. He was a hard-working man who took his farming very seriously. He understood the soil and the seasons in a way that only a man of the earth could. He knew the hard work it took during the growing season to ensure his crops bore him enough food to last through the harsh winters. Once every spring, at the appointed time, he would collect all his tools and begin the hard work of tilling his soil and preparing it for the seeds of grain he would sow. Today the fields are finally ready to sow the wheat seeds. Grow tall and make me proud, little seeds. Ah. Now hurry, it's time yes, to bring Mama. our master lunch. He's sure to be tired from all the hard work he's doing in the field. Come along, children. La -la -la. La -la 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 -la. There he is. <sighs> what fulfilling work sowing seeds is. Ah, lunch. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, oh, doesn't the field look wonderful? I've removed all the stones and cultivated the earth so it will be easy for my little seeds to grow. Mm, it was hard work. Wow! Mm. I hope the wheat oh. grows tall oh. and strong. Oh. <laughs> oh. This year I hope to have a very Here, big master. crop. I bet that medicine tastes awful. Are you okay? Uh, oh. Oh, oh, no! Taco, Taco, are you okay? No need to worry, my pets. I'm sure it's Master, nothing. Master, are you okay? Well, that cough doesn't sound good. You have to take care of yourself. Unfortunately, Takbo's cough was a sign of things to come, and he became very ill. Unable to leave his bed, he was forced to leave his fields unattended while he rested day after day. Oh, I can't afford to stay in bed any longer. Losing one day in the spring is worse for a farmer than losing five days in the fall. Spotty, I must go tend my fields. You need to go back to bed. Oh. Oh, he's right. I have to take my medicine if I'm ever going to be strong enough to work again. Yeah, I hate that stuff. Thank you. 
Our master can't do anything but rest now. Spotty, do you think he'll be better soon? I hope so, but he's very ill. <clears throat> Outside he's resting, but inside he's fighting it with all his strength. If I could help, I would beat that illness back. I know that while I lie here, the weeds are springing up and choking my wheat. If I can't pull them, they might destroy my whole crop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I, uh, I can't stay in bed. I must tend to my crops. The weeds need to be pulled, and the crops need to be irrigated. I have to try to stand. Uh, 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 uh. Master, you okay? Master, let me help you. you. Master, oh. are you okay, Tugboat? Oh. oh no! Had fallen ill at the beginning of spring, the height of the planting season. For three months he lay in bed, too ill to work. But finally, on the one hundredth day, he was well enough to return. He awoke greeted by the glorious morning, and raced to the field, anxious to see how his crops had fared in his absence. Oh, oh no, the weeds have overrun the garden just as I had feared. Not a single grain has survived. All that work, and because of my illness, I have nothing to show for it. But wait! I can hardly believe my eyes. Can it be that one seedling remains? But what can I do with only one seedling? I've lost everything. What will I do? I'm ruined. It's so sad. Poor Tugbo! It's not fair. How will I survive? If only I'd never been ill! Oh. Oh. I'm sorry I couldn't care for you the way you needed to be cared for. has made you so sad. Oh my goodness! What are you? I am the ancient spirit of the earth. I was moved by your weeping. Oh, earth spirit. What am I to do? I have been ill for the entire spring and have only been able to tend to my field today. Hmm. The plants have dried up and they have been choked by the weeds that I have been unable to pull. Only one has survived. But I cannot live a whole year on only one seedling. I am a farmer, and I must live off the land. This is a sad tale indeed. Don't despair, my child. One sapling can provide more than you know. If you care for it, it can grow tall and as strong really? as a tree. You're serious? All you need to do is put your heart and soul in the earth, and it will reward you. Then I will do it. I promise you. I will tend the seedling as though she were a child. Ah, I wish you luck, my friend. Thank you, great earth spirit. I will take care of my seedling. I... Yay! 
can't believe my good fortune! And so Takbo kept his word to the Earth Spirit and poured his heart and soul into his sibling. It was all that he had, but he would make sure that it was well tended and free to grow to its fullest potential. He built a storehouse nearby for all the tools he needed and carried buckets of water from the river to soften the dry, cracked soil. seedlings grown already it's unbelievable oh no my poor plant it will be destroyed by the rain the wind will break its stalk The rain drowned it either. Do you think it'll be all right? Uh, I won't let the wind break you. You're all that I have. hasn't been in vain. This plant alone is worth three harvests. It seemed all of Takbo's troubles had come to an end. The earth had rewarded him for all his hard work. <laughs> I've never seen so much grain. We will eat like kings this winter, my friends. Look at all this grain. <laughs> provisions we have for the winter. Enough that I can even sell some if I need to. <laughs> ah, this deserves a celebration. Look at it all. I'm starving. What should I eat first? <sighs> I think I'll have some fish. Mmm, what a delicacy. Hey, maybe he's had too much to drink. <laughs> well, isn't this relaxing? I enjoy the idea of not having to work so hard. <laughs> mm, me too. <laughs> I think I could get used to this. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I 
I hope the tree survives the winter, because then we can be sure of our harvest next year. It would be nice to not have to worry. And sure enough, as it had every year before, the winter dissolved into spring. Top Bow had spent a relaxing winter, living off the grain he'd gathered, and he began to prepare for the work of a new year's planting. Off we go. Another season of planting, my friends. We have enough seeds here to plant twice the field I had last year. I haven't even begun working. I already have to rest. Huh, I'm a little out of shape. I'm not used to relaxing so much. But wait! The wheat tree is blooming! Huh. 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 This is amazing! My work is all done for me! I'll have another wonderful crop this year! Ah. Thanks to you, my friend. I'll never have to work so hard again. <laughs> oh, I'm living easy. <laughs> Whatever it is sure makes him happy. Oh, thank you, my wheat tree. You are the biggest blessing that's ever come into my life. I'll never have to work again. <sighs> well, I certainly don't need those. Master, Master oh, those that's it. Well, oh. Thanks, my friends. But we won't be needing any of those. Our tree will do everything for <laughs> us, buddy. <laughs> What? Ah, Spotty, aren't you worried because our master does nothing but sleep? Uh, well, of course not, Ham. You've seen the wheat tree in the field. When it blooms, we'll have a wonderful wheat harvest, and our master won't have to work the way he did before. No way. <sighs> Takbo spent all his time sleeping, and he didn't notice when autumn arrived, or that the weeds had reappeared, and that the earth had begun to dry out. that all the leaves on the mountainside have begun to change. The season seems to have snuck up on me. I guess that means it's time for me to harvest the grain again. <laughs> oh, it feels so strange not having done any work at all and knowing there's a bounty of wheat waiting for me. And now I'll do the honors of picking the wheat tree. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Just look at it all. <laughs> oh, my glorious wheat tree. You haven't let me down. How wonderful! <laughs> we better help it. Covered. Help! Help! You, master! Oh, master! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was close. Oh, <laughs> 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 Hurry! We must bring back all this wheat. <laughs> All right, then. Let's get started. <laughs> ah, what a wonderful crop. But... <gasps> this doesn't taste like wheat. Ah! <gasps> oh, this is sand! Ah! Oh, this is insane! Trees don't grow sand! Uh, uh, I don't understand! 
What's wrong with this tree? Disaster! Oh, my goodness! There's no wheat, only dust and sand. I can't believe it! Oh. Uh, oh, great spirit! What has happened to my tree? Instead of growing wheat, huh? the tree has grown sand! What's wrong with the tree? You haven't put a drop of sweat into the earth. Of course you have no crop to show for. Uh, uh, Remember, uh, Takbo, care for the earth, otherwise it will not care for you. You knew better and still did nothing. Uh, uh, I hope you have learned your lesson. I was such a fool. Mother, what will the master do for the winter? Hmm. He can't eat sand, can he, Mother? Right. I didn't do my duty as a farmer. Takbo had learned his lesson. He never took his land for granted ever again. He survived the winter and worked the land with all his heart and soul. And the land rewarded him in return. So what do you say, kids? Did you like today's story? <laughs> if you come back tomorrow, I'll have another new tale to tell you. And I know you're just going to love it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, so yeah, so yeah, we so do <laughs> Ha ha ha!